Hello and welcome to the tutorial on image editing techniques. Um, as you can see, I'm already in the designer and I've already got an image uploaded that was from the Creative Design Factory library. Now, uh, as you can see, just briefly brushing over things I've already explained in other tutorials, you can move images around, you can resize them by dragging, by holding on the uh, handle of the, uh, one of the corners, and you can see it gets bigger and smaller. Um, you can use this resize proportionally button, I can untick or tick that. Now when it's unticked, if I use these handles again, it doesn't stay in the same aspect. As you can see I can make it shorter, fatter, whatever. Um, now if I move it to a certain size and lock it again, you can see it will scale to the right size. So there we go. Other options. Um, if you've got a background, say white or black, you can select this button and select which colour and background you want removed. So basically it makes that background transparent. Obviously I can't apply this at the moment because I've already got a transparent background. Um, we can position the item using these arrows. We can resize it. We can rotate it, which takes a little bit while longer. There we go, and we can also type it in the actual angle, um, and it will move again. We can line the uh, image to the t-shirt, so we can line it horizontally, we can line it vertically, or we can do it all in one go, like that. So now we've got advanced um, properties as well, um, so you've got hundreds of effects here, well I'll say hundreds is probably about 20. Um, things like fade to black, give it a money effect, tiles, normal blur, motion blur, newspaper, radial blur, half tone, shade, edge, there's, there's loads of them. All these different types of, uh, of design. All you need to do is select the image and then select the um, type of um, effect you want. Um, now as you can see, um, I need to move it just to make sure it's done it. There we go. Not the best. It obviously depends on the actual image that you've uploaded. But what it does there is basically t change the threshold of the actual um, effect that you're wanting to apply to, to the design. Uh, there we go. Um, let's get it back how it was before. We've also got border effects. and there's, Again, there's loads here. So basically this just adds a border to your image um, of the file you've uploaded. Again, dead easy to add. All you do is select one. And that's it, it basically puts a border around your image. And you can select your own borders, there's loads to choose from. So you can make it look like a film, um, reel, or loads of stent, uh, loads of images cut out, like that. Um, there is absolutely loads. Um, it's taking a while this one thinking well, that's interesting so there you have it um, that's basically all the uh, things that you can do with your images that you upload um, feel free to have a play around and see what you come up with